welcome to Mr. Susan. As Robert said earlier, I am gonna walk you guys through a very quick version of how to make that amazing delicious snack called kimchi. Uh, kimchi is a very traditional Korean food. Uh, it's a fermented product. It's spicy, crunchy, fermented, delicious. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna walk you through the basic ingredients of kimchi. First and foremost, you need something to kimchi. So the most traditional thing is Napa cabbage, which we have here. You cut the Napa cabbage basically to the size that you want. So if you want bigger pieces, smaller pieces. And the first thing you're gonna do is salt the cabbage. So basically you take salt, whether you do it like this or in pieces and you salt it, salt it, salt it. And then you let it sit in the salt for about three to four hours. Four hours have gone by. So now you have your salted cabbage. What you're gonna do with the salted cabbage is you're gonna give it a nice little wash. So you wash the salt out, give it some love, and then you put it in a bowl with a little, or a strainer, and you're gonna let the water drain out of the cabbage. Another three hours have gone by. These are the ingredients to make the sauce of the kimchi, or the guts, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, basic ingredients are onions, lots of garlic, we love the garlic in Korean cooking, ginger, pineapple, and the most important thing is the Korean red chili flakes, must be the Korean dried chili flakes, and a little bit of love. So you take all these ingredients and you put it in a blender. Blend it all together and put it into a bowl. So it should look like this. So again, this is your pineapple, it's your garlic, it's your onions, it's your ginger, it's your lauch or lauch, your leek. leek, yes. We're in Germany. And you're gonna end up with something like this. Then, you're gonna put on a glove, unless you like having spicy hands, but, because it's gonna get spicy. You take your Korean red chili flakes, you sprinkle that in, just like this, and you're basically gonna mix it around. So you mix, 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 mix. Needs more Korean red chili flakes. Okay, so you let that sit, and basically, you're gonna take your salted cabbage now that has basically brined for three hours, three to four hours. You've let it drain for about three to four hours and now you have this like yummy, soft, brined cabbage and you put it all together. You basically mix the sauce with the cabbage together and you end up with kimchi. Yay! So, once the kimchi is made, you can basically just eat it. It's ready to eat as soon as you make it. But kimchi is a fermented product, uh, which is why you salt it and you brine it and all these delicious things go in it. What we do is, of course, we jar it in our Mr. Susan kimchi. And because it's a fermented product, you can basically eat it for a very long time. So the longer it ferments, the tastier, the juicier, the yummier, the more fermented it's gonna get. So the longer the better, but also ready to eat 